It's Zodicus Life here. Thanks for stopping by on Hangover Sundays. Today I'm going to talk about the importance of water and how to make some awesome crepes or pancakes for your terrible, ter terrible, terrible hangover. Now, even you can make it hungover. So let me start with why water is important. I was going to throw a whole bunch of information at you every episode, but I don't think you want to see stuff like that, that kind of annoying, right? So we'll start off with a few things at a time. Now water, water is key. Your body is made up of approximately 60 to 70% of water. That's huge. That's more than half. So water's got to be super important. I read a few articles the other day about your brain being composed of approximately 90% water. I don't know how true that is, so don't back me into a corner. But if that has any validity, you've got to be drinking water. Super, super important. It'll help you avoid that hangover that you really don't want. It'll help ease that hangover that you've probably got right now. So you should go right now, pause the video, go right now and get some water. I'll wait for you because I'll be on pause. So go ahead. So today the sun doesn't want to be my friend. It's moving in with a vengeance. Anyway, so you're going to want to have a cup of uh, water for every alcoholic drink you have. Um, I know it's tough when you start drinking, you're having fun and you lose track. At least try and have three for when you come home. If you don't, you're going to have a nasty hangover. It's definitely not worth it. I know you get home, you're drunk, you might have a lady friend, a guy friend. You want to get busy, but it's worth it. It's definitely, definitely worth it to drink those three cups of water. It'll help get rid of that hangover in the morning. It'll help avoid you get it altogether. And water's just awesome for you. Um, I prefer putting it in glass because it can... It helps to chlorinate it, which is really good. Um, your body doesn't communicate as well uh, with the brain when you're drinking, so you're going to be urinating a lot more. You're going to be sweating a lot more, so you're going to get de dehydrated pretty, pretty quickly. Uh, keep up on the water. Super important. It helps you from getting sick. I haven't even used Advil or Tylenol or anything like that in quite a while now just because I've upped my consumption in water. Definitely worth it. Now I'm going to show you how to make some crepes and or pancakes. It's super easy. You can teach your little brother and sister how to do it. You can uh, do it yourself while you're hungover. It's so easy. The ingredients are simple. You probably have them right now. I'm going to put down the information down there just so that you don't have to go through my whole video again, especially if you're hungover not fun to constantly repeat stuff right anyway i'll catch you on the next time when i come back from my crepes and see you soon all right so just put my hair up don't want it to get in my face you're gonna want to get your measuring cup and get your flour you're gonna want about a cup of flour to maybe a little bit more maybe a little less it's good for two people personally i eat it all i can eat for days um, throw that in there. I have a lot of flour. Um, I like to cook and bake a lot, so I need a lot. Now you're going to get your sugar. You're going to want about a third of a cup of sugar. I personally use brown sugar. You can use white sugar if you want. Doesn't really matter. Um, I'll use about a third. I won't use more than that. Otherwise, it does become a little bit too sweet. Even a third of a cup is pretty sweet. But it's delicious. And this is where I'm throwing in some pumpkin spice. I wish I had vanilla, but I ran out. So pumpkin spice, it is October. Let's spice things up a little bit. And for water, this is pretty much all you need now. You're going to put in about three quarters of a cup. It's going to seem like a lot at first, but once you mix it around, it'll be good. Right there, I forgot all my utensils. I had to go grab them. So mix it up really good. Uh, you don't have to get all the clumps out, just like the larger ones. Uh, it'll 
Three quarters of a cup will give you a kind of a liquidy, perfect texture for crepes. And first off, I'm gonna show you how to do a deep fried crepe. Just throw in a little bit of extra oil, heat it up till it's nice and warm, and you throw it in. I don't typically like them deep fried. I prefer more of like a pancakey, gooey texture. So if you want to make pancakes instead of crepes, you can actually throw in an egg in there and probably reduce your water to about half a cup and then go from there. You want it to be a little bit thicker. So this is where I'm deep frying it. I have enough oil in there where you can see a decent amount. I'm going to throw that in there. It's going to cook really, really quick. So you kind of have to be ready for it. If you have a bigger bowl like I do, it's kind of difficult to work with. But this is pretty much the entire process, super easy. Uh, you're gonna wanna check the sides pretty often if you're deep frying. You don't want them to you know, burn. They certainly don't taste very good. It was getting close there, but uh, I managed to pull it off. Like I said, I don't really like the deep fried ones, so I haven't really perfected that. Now what I'll do is I'll throw some in there so that there's a little bit extra on top and then you move the pan around so it pushes out along the edges. It'll give it some time to, uh, to make it a little bit thinner and more of a crepe texture. Flip it pretty, check it pretty often. I personally check it pretty often. Uh, you can throw a lid on there. It tends to uh, cook it more. If you see bubbles like that, that's perfect. That's what you want to see. It'll turn a little bit brown, flip it around, and you can kind of gauge when to start flipping it from one side to the next. Again, it is really subjective. You can make them a lot thicker, a lot thinner, gooier, crispier. If you like them a little bit burnt, that's good. Now, sometimes you might want to add in a bit, a bit more oil. I tend to always add in a little bit too much every time I add in. Uh, if you put too much, you're going to get more of that deep fried type thing and the particular crepe is going to be a little bit oily. This one ended up turning out really, really nice. And so you just continue this for a little bit and you end up with quite a few crepes. Now, I always clean my bowls right away. You, I'd highly suggest it because super easy to clean when it's still kind of gooey. It feels kind of gross when you're cleaning it, but it's definitely worth it because if you let that stuff dry, it's such a pain to get off the bowl. You have to let it soak again and then it's gonna get gross again. You might as well just do it right there while your last crepe is going off. You have plenty of time to do it, rinse it out, dry it off, or just throw it off to the side to dry on its own. This last one I did, I did a terrible job. It was too thick, I was getting impatient, I was super, super hungry. But, that is it. So the good thing about having the two plates like that, it keeps them warm. You can flip the other one over when you're ready, put your pancake there or a crepe and put whatever toppings you want on it. I prefer strawberry. You're not going to want to put too much inside because it will spread once you start to roll it. Unless you just want to eat it like that, you can absolutely do that. Um, I prefer rolling it and it's absolutely delicious. I wasn't sure, sure which way I wanted to roll it. I put a little bit too much in this first one. But, oh man, delicious. It's worth getting some sticky fingers. Definitely worth it, especially if you're hungover. This stuff will just, it'll sit in your stomach and help settle you off, you know. This other one I put a little bit less and you honestly, like I said, you don't need a lot. You just roll that up. You can put anything in there. You could even put fruit in there. You can put bananas, uh, little sliced apples, peanut butter. Peanut butter does get like really, really thick. So want to watch out with that. And you could even throw ham and eggs in there. Eggs are excellent. See, 
Crepes are super easy to make. Um, they're delicious. It's great hangover food. You don't need a lot of ingredients to do it. So you can go and do that now or you can cuddle back up in bed after watching my video and check me out again next Sunday. Or if you have any suggestions for a video during the week, let me know, pop them in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe as usual and like me on Facebook. Check me out on Sundays. Also, never forget to smile. <laughs>